Good morning, and welcome to the 2022 Spring Baccalaureate Commencement for the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences at Emporia State University. Please rise for our national anthem sung by Catherine Selenke. Please be seated. My name is Gary Wyatt, and I serve as Interim Provost and Vice President for Academic Affairs at Emporia State University. As our ceremony gets underway, I ask that you take a moment to identify the auditorium exit closest to you. In the event of a severe weather incident or some other emergency, instructions will be given from this lectern if a disturbance or emergency arises, please notice, notify an usher or a law, for, a law enforcement official to assist. It is now my pleasure to introduce members of the platform party who will stand as their names are called, and I ask them to remain standing. Please hold your applause till all have been introduced. Rob Catlett, 2021 Row R. Cross, Distinguished Professor. Shane Shively, Vice President for University Advancement and Foundation President. Wu Sab Zheng, Dean School of Library and Information Management. Jerry Spotswood, Dean School, uh, Graduate School and Distance Education. Sean Keough, representing the Dean of the School of Business. Joanne Brewer, Dean the Teachers College. Shelley Gerke, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Student Success. James Williams, Senior Vice President for Student Affairs. Corey Faldine, Vice President for Infrastructure. Brenda Corner, President of the Faculty. Gail Stevens, Associate Dean, Liberal Arts and Sciences. Other platform party members will be introduced as they participate in today's ceremony. Please join me in recognizing these members of the platform party. Thank you. Yep. You may now be seated. It is now my pleasure to introduce the president of Emporia State University, Ken Hush. President Hush will officially welcome you to campus on behalf of our university and he will introduce our distinguished guests. President Hush. Good morning, everyone. Regent Lane, honored guests, faculty, family members, and members of the graduating class, it's my pleasure and my privilege to welcome you to the 2022 Spring Baccalaureate Commencement Ceremony at Emporia State University. It's a great day to be a Hornet. Graduates, on behalf of the faculty, 
staff, and administration, I extend our congratulations to you. We're proud of your accomplishments, and we look forward to your future achievements, many of them. There are a number of people who have helped you reach this goal, and it is appropriate that we recognize them. First, would the family members and significant others of the graduates please stand as you are able and be recognized. Thank you. Your support and guidance are appreciated not only by the graduates themselves, but also by our university community. Faculty members, please rise as you are able and remain standing. We also recognize these faculty members who have accompanied our graduates every step of the way and who share in their accomplishment today. Please join me in thanking the faculty. Please remain, please remain standing. Graduating students, please rise as you are able and remain standing. Members of the class 2022, you have gained new knowledge, wisdom, reasoning abilities, and communication skills. You will go forth from here better equipped to serve the common good. Would the faculty join me in congratulating our graduating students and the students join me in thanking the faculty. <clears throat> Thank you, and please be seated. I would also like to take this opportunity to recognize and thank those of you who have served in the armed forces, military graduates, and all others who are currently serving or have served in the military. Please stand and let us thank you. We appreciate your service to our country. Later in the ceremony, when our graduates receive their diplomas, each Armed Forces graduate will receive a special ESU token showing our esteem. Next, the Newburgh Distinguished Senior Awards recognizes a senior student involved in campus and community activities. The recipient of special honors and awards and one who shows promise as a dedicated Emporia State alum. It's my pleasure to say the 2021 and 2022 distinguished senior is Jaylee Posselwaite. Jaylee is a communication major from Olathe. I now invite Laura Moon, Vice President of the Associated Student Government, to come forward and to introduce Regent Lane. It is now my pri privilege to introduce to you the Honorable Cynthia Lane who is with us this morning representing the Kansas Board of Regents. Dr. Cynthia Lane has more than 36 years of professional experience in the field of education. Dr. Lane is currently the CEO of Evolve Education Leadership, LLC, and serves on both the Governor's Council of Education and the Advantage Kansas Coordinating Council. Dr. Lane was the Superintendent of Kansas City, Kansas Public Schools from 2010 to 2018 and received her PhD from the University of Kansas along with her MS and BSED from Pittsburgh State University. 
Dr. Lane was appointed to the Kansas Board of Regents in June 2021. Please join me in welcoming Regent Lane, who will bring greetings from the Kansas Board of Regents. Thank you, Lauren, for the great introduction. Uh, but one important fact missing, I am a cousin of Emporia Hornets because half my doctorate degree came from this great institution. So please uh, welcome a cousin. <laughs> President Hoos, distinguished faculty, staff, alumni, family, friends, and most important distinguished graduates, it's an honor to bring greetings Congratulations and best wishes from the Kansas Board of Regents. The Board of Regents is focused on supporting families, growing businesses, and creating opportunities for economic prosperity for all Kansans. Graduates, we commend you for your hard work, dedication, and personal sacrifice to reach this important milestone. We thank you for your future contributions that your talents will make to our local, state, national, and world economies. And families, we celebrate you, your families, your friends, and mentors for supporting these graduates along the way. Graduates, you have earned the right to walk across this stage. You leave this university with the expertise and knowledge that will serve you well in your chosen careers. The connections you have formed with your fellow Hornets will sustain you for a lifetime. So I spent several weeks thinking about what words of wisdom might I share with you today, recognizing that Hornets distinguish themselves from everyone else by doing things just a little bit differently. I decided to offer you this life lesson for your consideration the Take the Stairs mindset. Take the Stairs author Roy Vaden has spent his career researching successful people and the, who are the best in many different fields. He found that those considered the best in their craft have the Take the Stairs mindset on their way to achieving success. The idea is that the small choices, the effort applied, yields the biggest, most important results. Successful people understand that achieving their goals and realizing their dreams requires focus, commitment to action, learning from setbacks, doing the hard work, one step at a time. Unfortunately, Vaden also found that most of us have the escalator mindset, choosing to take an easier path, hoping life would be easier. But that's not what Emporia Hornets do. The problem with the escalator mindset is it can serve as an obstacle. We can become convinced that easier is better. The truth is that success comes from being tested, like you have been here, being pushed to our limits, having your character and confidence shaped by challenging circumstances. The escalator may be convenient at the time. The reality is putting in the effort is the only way to sustain success. So graduates, we're here today to celebrate that you have made the important choice to take the stairs one step at a time, leading to this significant accomplishment. For the rest of your life, you will discover that this effort is worth it. On behalf of the members of the Kansas Board of Regents, congratulations, best wishes, and the next time you have a choice between the stairs and the escalator, take the congratulations. Thank you, Regent Lane. We will now recognize all those graduates who qualify for Latin honors, designations cum laude, magna cum laude, and summa cum laude. To be graduated cum laude, a student must have achieved an overall grade point average of at least 3.5 out of a possible 4.0. Will those students graduating cum laude please rise as you are able and be recognized.
To be, uh, please be, thank you and please be seated. To be graduated summa cum laude, a student must have achieved a three point, uh, excuse me, uh, magna cum laude, a student must have earned a grade point average of 3.7 on a four point scale. Will those students graduating magna cum laude please rise as you are able and be recognized. Thank you and please be seated. To be graduated summa cum laude, a student must have achieved a 3.9 grade point average. Will those students graduating summa cum laude please rise as you are able and be recognized. Thank you. Thank you. Be seated. At this time, I would like to recognize a student who is graduating today with a perfect 4.0 grade point average. As I call this student's name, I ask you to give her a round of applause. Haley Weisenbach of Emporia graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in sociology. Uh, that is an awesome accomplishment. The Honors College at Emporia State University provides an enhanced educational experience to highly motivated undergraduate students that includes challenging coursework, leadership development, and community service. Students who graduate with honors from the Honors College distinguish themselves by completing an honors curriculum, learning and practicing adaptive leadership, and completing either a community service project or an academic thesis, all while maintaining high academic standards. By doing so, they become agents of change for the common good. Will the students graduating with honors please rise as you are able as I call your name and remain standing. Please hold your applause until all have been introduced. Kushi Ramad Rakif Ganchi of India, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in biochemistry and molecular biology. Lucy Steyer of Lenexa, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in political science. Tanya Wiest of Emporia, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in biology. Please join me in recognizing these outstanding students. Thank you and please be seated. To be graduated with high honors from the Honors College, students must distinguish themselves by completing additional honors coursework and scholarly activities beyond that for graduating with honors. They must have completed an enhanced community engagement project as well or a thesis. Will the students graduating with high honors please rise as you are able as I call your name and remain standing. Paula Galvez Molina of Guatemala City, Guatemala, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Physics and Mathematics. Kaylee Gleason, Dodge City, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Biochemistry and Molecular Biology. Haley Weisenbach of Emporia, graduating with a Bachelor of Science degree with a major in Sociology. Please join me in recognizing these awesome students. Thank you and please be seated. And now the time to confer the baccalaureate degrees has arrived. Before we begin the conferral of degrees, I would like you to know that a professional photographer will take pictures of all graduates as they cross the platform. Proofs will be sent via email to either the email address the student provided or to their Emporia State University account. President Hush. It is a pleasure to present candidates for degrees from Emporia State University. Will the candidates for all baccalaureate degrees please arise as you are able? President Hush, these candidates have, uh, rise as you are able, it's all of you, yeah, there you go. <laughs> President Hush, these candidates have completed all academic requirements for baccalaureate degrees at Emporia State University upon the recommendation of the faculty 
and with the approval of the Board of Regents, I present them to you as duly qualified recipients of that degree and recommend that you confer upon them the baccalaureate degree. The authority vested in me by the State of Kansas and its Board of Regents upon the recommendation of the faculty of this university who prescribe the academic requirements and as president of Emporia State University, I confer upon each of you that baccalaureate degree appropriate to your curriculum with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities appertaining thereto. Candidates, you will be invited to the platform to receive your diploma by the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. You may now be seated. Candidates will be announced by Shelley Gerke, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Academic Success, and Gail Stevens, Associate Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Good morning, my name is Brent Thomas and I serve as the Dean of the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Will the Marshals please present the candidates for the degrees, Bachelor of Arts, Bachelor of Fine Arts, Bachelor of Interdisciplinary Studies, Bachelor of Music, Bachelor of Science and Bachelor of Science in Nursing from the College of Liberal Arts and Sciences. Whitney Elizabeth Artman. <laughs> Bailey Alexandra Bardrick. <laughs> Wyatt McKay Campbell. Brogan Tyler Falls. <laughs> Jennifer Elizabeth Garcia. Claire N. Gurley. Jaylee Vanessa Postalweight. <laughs> Ruto Sagawa. <laughs> Jennifer Sanchez. Danielle Schultz. <laughs> Megan Amelia Fries. <laughs> Hannah Lee Graham. Elizabeth Kaylee Grote. Sadie Faye Moore.
Courtney Brooke Wisdom. Angela K. Arwine. Chaplain Renee Askins. Kirsten Michelle Brooks. Patricia Jeanette Guerrero. Brooks Haddock. Evan Patrick Havron. Lauren R. Hebert. <laughs> Emily Gale Lowe. Mackenzie Lynn Lutz. <laughs> Catherine Elizabeth Vaught. Caitlin Marie Hess. Corey Preston Mann. Catherine Cecilia Selinke. Ryan Bradley Albers. Yeah. Emma Easton Anderson. Yeah. Libby Noel Offleger Ross. Abel Bordez Perez. Lacey Brown. Lane James Butterfield. Bill Kane. Brandon James Clark. Thank you for your service in the United States military. Houston Neal Clearwater.
Case Brooks Cochran. Erica Lynn Dillard. Anthony Duenas. Paige Christina Fry. Annabelle E. Gallegos. Paula Natalia Galvez Molina. Kushi Mohammed Rafi Ganchi. Kaylee Lynn Gleason. Henry Gomez. Trevor Abraham Vincent Greary. Amy Guillen. Malachi D. Harris. Brooks Bennett Hartsock. Danielle Olivia Jackson. Amy Renee Johnson. Braden Gregory Johnson. Hidenobu Kaiga. Sarah Ann Keck. Andrew Michael Keller. Drew William Keller. Lorianne Marie Kenworthy. Olivia Ann Kincaid. Ryan Ryder Larson. Larissa May Lynn Livingston. Jack Early Mackey. Lillian Christine McWilliams. Lillian Christine McWilliams. 
Margaret Sarah Malott. <laughs> Bailey Lynn Miller. Mackenzie Deanne Mitchell. <laughs> Allison Lee Nelson. <laughs> Paola Yanira Perlera. Morgan Lee Redeker. Samuel Wade Remfries. Elanda Yadira Rintana Simital. Chance Joseph Rodriguez. Nicholas Rutherford. Sierra Lorraine Schmidt. Madison Schultz. <laughs> Gwendolyn K. Schwein. <laughs> Courtney Alexis Sellens. Caitlin Marie Smith. Braden Lane Soper. Kirsty Lee Sorrell. Thank you for your service in the United States military, Joshua Robert Sprigler. <laughs> Simon Walter Stewart. Lucy Steyer. Bradley Rashad Sullivan. Lindsay Laura Tyndall. Lorenzo. Say your last name. Thank you for your service in the United States military, Lorenzo R. Tuero. Jess Adele Unruh.
Isabel Maria Viegas. Thank you. Libby Weaver. Haley D. Weisenbach. Haley Elizabeth Wells. <laughs> Mackenzie Elaine West. <laughs> Katie Taylor White. Tanya Amory Weist. <laughs> Jara Ann Wolke. <laughs> Heather D. Richa. Michael Aaron Yakovich. Michelle Yassin. Aspen Lee. Adelsberger. <laughs> Tanya Elizabeth Gutierrez Allen. Vanessa Almaguer. Yeah. Karina Belon Saad. Ananise Catherine Bott. Barry. Andrea Marie Bennett. Jace Aaron Blankenship. Rachel Marie Constance Bollinger. Cameron Elise Cole. Naya Elaine Coleman. Megan Elizabeth Crum. Jaden Diane Damon.
Hannah Grace Devaney. Hayden Lee Duran. Jaden Ann Eck. Jenna Ann Fencham. Marissa Renee Florio. Alexis Lee Graham McKay. Julia Renee Gilman. Hattie Ann Griffin. <laughs> Katie Suzanne Harlson. Connor Marie Hershey. Lauren Joy Hine. <laughs> Rachel Lynn Hopkins. <laughs> Laney Hoskinson. Blessing Iwani. <laughs> Olamidi Florence Iwani. Sophia Alexis Johnson. <laughs> Sedona Caitlin Keegan. <laughs> June Cole. Ashlyn Lee Lakin. <laughs> Becky Marlene Lara. Taylor Brienne Lindley. <laughs> Jocelyn Bagali Martinez Funes. Courtney Marie McKay. Yeah. 
Samantha Lynn McKinney. Annalise Rachel Meek. Cade Bradshaw Miller. Courtney Lynn Miller. Elizabeth Leanne Monroe. Avery Ann Moore. Juliet Elizabeth Myers. Catherine Ann Nitcher. Austin Michael Ulfs. Riley Marie Oshel. Angela Anna Palma. Garrett Joseph Pimple. Anna Bell Qualls. Meredith Megan Regeer. <laughs> Brianna Reyes. <laughs> Ryan Taylor Schamberg. Lindsay Nicole Sigel. <laughs> Alyssa Page Slavin. <laughs> Whitney Page Sparks. Lane Ryan Sprecher. <laughs> Mackenzie Lee Standerwick. <laughs> Noah James Strobel. Sadie D. Trier. Mariah Tian Wells. Oh, 
Ryan Angeline White. Riley Morgan Williams. <laughs> Ashley Nicole Wolgram. <laughs> Allison Margaret Wright. Destiny Jordan Wright. <laughs> Kirsten Young. <laughs> Olivia Hamilton Young. I now invite Diane Beatty, Chair, Foundation Board of Trustees, to come forward to offer her congratulations. Hello, Emporia State University graduates. Congratulations. On behalf of the Emporia State University Alumni Association and the Foundation, I am pleased to welcome you as our newest members. Today you join over 65,000 fellow alumni, Hornets who have earned a degree from ESU. Now if any of you are in the audience or ESU alumni, please stand and provide your congratulations to these newest graduates. Thank you. At this time, I would also like to recognize those students who have earned the distinction of Traditions Keeper of ESU. These students have embraced the student experience by completing 30 or more endeavors in areas of academic success, civic engagement, and black and gold pride. With those students wearing the Traditions Keeper medallion, please stand as you are able to be recognized. <laughs> you may be seated. When all of you entered college, you set a goal. You persevered, and as of today, you have accomplished that goal. I encourage you to continue to benefit from your time here at ESU, now your alma mater. You are now and always will be a member of the ESU Alumni Association, and we share our pride. And you can start sharing yours by staying connected, being involved, sharing your experience with others, and being a proud Hornet. Continue your relationship. We challenge every Hornet to find ways to serve and support your alma mater every year. You can help recruit the next generation of Hornets. Encourage your employer to hire a graduate from ESU. Advocate for public higher education. Pledge to begin to support your alma mater, ESU, each and every year with your time, your talent, and your dollars. It's a great day to be a Hornet. Congratulations.
Thank you, Ms. Beattie. Congratulations to all our graduates. Please take joy in today and carry it forward to the next chapter of your lives. President Hush now has some concluding remarks. I wish to thank Dr. Gary Zeke, the ESU Brass Ensemble, Catherine Selinke, and the Commencement Committee for their contribution to this commencement today. Would all graduates please rise as you are able. As a final symbol of your accomplishments and the commencement of the next stage of your life, please move the tassel from the right side of your cap to the left side. And once again, congratulations. Too good. Will you please stand as you're able and join us in singing our alma mater, led by Catherine Selinke. The words can be found on the second page of your program. This concludes our commencement ceremony. Please remain standing during the recessional until the platform party and faculty have exited. Thank you.